Flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're not listening to the mind of an Antares Moon. I'm the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucker responsibilities. And we're going to talk about the Demiurge. We're going to talk about the motherfucking Demiurge. Now, I'm part, I know you're probably looking right now like, look, he and this motherfucking Demiurge. But you truly do not know what you're talking about. And this video is going to break that shit down. So ride this motherfucking flight. Ride this new airwave, goddamn. So, motherfucker, we're gonna talk about the Demi Urge. Now, for the most part, you know what my channel is about breaking shit down from a fourth, fifth, and sixth dimensional aspect. So, I know it's a bunch of people who lost in the third dimension right now who try to bring me back down to third dimensional aspects. So, I'm gonna I'm teach people how to separate the two and how to decipher someone who's lost in the third dimension and someone who's actually elevated and created more sufficient vehicles in the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension and how to develop those motherfucking bodies for yourself now for the most part let's break this motherfucking shit down let me separate it first let me separate the poodles from the motherfucking rock rollers and pit bulls let me separate the weaklings from the strong and pure spirits now check this out let me get all y'all low vibrational third dimensional level right now that's why i'm in this l because y'all y'all like to use a lot of logic and y'all like to uh linguistics and use y'all language and use y'all words and sigils and left brain reptilian shit all the time so check this out Right now, a third dimensional person will look at me right now and say, I don't logically know what I'm talking about. And then they're going to point to me scriptures or or some type of written text that somebody else is trying to decipher the energy about. So they're lost in the logicality of it. So they get lost in what, what they think an angel and demon is where they truly don't where they truly don't understand from a fourth, fifth and sixth six dimensional aspect. This is just looked at as a state of being. That's all this is looked at, as a state of being. So we are all spirits. So we all share possibilities of going in our demonic natures and our angelic natures. So a lot of y'all be in y'all demonic natures and ruled by demonic spirits unknowingly. And how you figure out whose that is, is a person who try to bring you back in the, into the third D 3D and say you do not know what you talk about and then the first thing they do is point to you to a person do that, that they think they know what they're talking about so they truly do not know what they're talking about they just go into someone else reference about it where if you understand it's truly just a state of being you will understand it in a way how everybody trying to talk about it so when you when you look at these words like demon jesus bible idol or demi urge or um gin or genie in a bottle when you look at these terms it ain't none of that shit it ain't none of that shit in the fourth fifth and sixth dimension that's some shit and words and titles y'all gave these energy signatures to 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 use it against each other as motherfucking swords and shit and a ruler and authority, whether you realize that or not. But for the most part, these are just looked at as state of beings. See, y'all get lost into being human beings. Y'all get lost into trying to live like animal animal beings and, and y'all lost in y'all animalistic natures and y'all scared to move on into being another being in some way, shape or form. And then a lot of y'all worship the masculine and male energy to the point that y'all don't see life in no other way but what's outside of you and what's solid and what appears to be the illusion so you get lost into a, uh you get lost and lose your uh self so you don't see yourself as into any you only see yourself as into things outside of you so you need outside references or text to teach you about yourself so here's what you need to understand you're you're being taught about yourself uh, by a bunch of people who learn about they self so you need to jump into the spirit of learning about yourself so you can have the same spirit they have and therefore you can share the same possibilities that they was having and you don't have to go through a third hand, third string type of party. You see what I'm saying? So check this out. Now a demiurge, right? Now all these means nothing. It's a state of being. So as any kind of being, right? When you're vibrating low, here's another thing. People may try to tie the concept of vibration into the way that vibrate vibration correlate in the 3d realm and this is a person who's lost in the 3d realm another person who worshiped the masculine energy and the male concept in some way shape or form to the highest lost degree because here's what you need to understand from a four fifth and sixth dimensional aspect vibration from your spirit wise doesn't have shit to do with your fucking body now build on that you probably don't know what i'm talking about right now well, let me break this shit down for you clearly. Let me come back down to your nature. Let me come back down to your left 
reptilian brain in a third dimension. And let me leave the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension where I like to be just to, just to explain shit to y'all. Now, check this out. Now, you could be a motherfucker, the, the, the coolest, calmest, collected person in the world, like a monk or a shaman, meditating and staying still. Yet, you could be spiritually vibrating higher than somebody else. Period. Oh, you probably still don't understand that. Okay, let's look at it like this. You could be the hyperest motherfucker in the world, right? You could be the highest, hyperest motherfucker, third dimensional, high vibrational wise motherfucker in the world. But you could be so hyper doing a bunch of low vibrational shit from a fourth, fifth, and sixth dimensional aspect. So yeah, you vibrating high down here, causing a lot of static, gaining a lot of traction, gaining a lot of whatever you uh necessarily need. But as far as spiritually, you you doing that shit in a low vibrational spiritual state. So I don't care how hyper you may appear, your spirit is vibrating low or in a low vibrational world because you're taking all that hyper energy to do some low vibrational shit. So this is how you decipher and discern and separate the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimensional aspect of looking at vibration from a third dimensional aspect of looking at vibration. Do you get it? So, it, you got to understand these motherfucking concepts and ideas. So, when we talk about the demiurge, this is a state of being. So, this is a few examples of the demiurge itself, or just when uh, a spirit is in a state of being, of utilizing the energy signatures of being in a demiurge, right? Certain people here are ruled up under certain spirits because they get, they go up under scriptures, rituals, and spells, right? So once they read them, they live their life in that kind of way and they don't see it in no other kind of way, right? Now, they build a moral system off that, right? Now, here's where you know they're ruled by a, a, a spirit, right? Because the spirit that they follow actually has to have this energy because this person wouldn't have no idea to think about things in this kind of way. So they can not, they can blame their faults on themselves, but I'm trying to blame the fault on the spirit that they're following because they wouldn't have ideas to do this. Now, this is a person who tapped into their demon, uh, they, they demon, uh, demi urge. Say a person got a certain moral system, right? But they're willing to set that aside. They're willing to set what their spirit want to experience aside in order to dive into a pleasure. What is a pleasure? A form of entertainment. A form of something you can indulge into. A form of something, a form of something you can gravitate towards and and you could just watch it and not agree with. You could not agree with it. Like you could watch my channel and like my astrology, but don't watch my other shit. You just watch my other shit so for, for forms of entertainment. But you don't actually agree with it yourself. So you set you basically set aside your moral system for one of your pleasures. So I don't care how you want to slice it. I know your spirit that you worship, that you call God, is going to jump into you and put you in a sunken place and give you some type of logic on how to justify it. But as Archangel Uriel, how I look at it, like I look at it like this. I don't care if you're doing that on a large magnitude or, or small magnitude. In some way, shape, and form, that is the energy signature of the demiurge. Now, everybody y'all see me lash at or anybody y'all see me go to war with, um, the, the ground basis of it was me showing love. So I, everybody y'all see me lash at, it started from me showing love. So the demiurge excited this person's spirit. To create some type of illusion that they got of me in their mind. And then they try to verbally speak it. So they, so now they try to influence others to join that imagination or dream about me. That is, that is you casting stones. That is, that is a demiurge. My video, all my videos is about attacking shit that has nothing to do with you. I'm attacking these four, fifth, and sixth dimensional shit. This shit don't have nothing to, to do with you. So why are you getting offended and attacking me? In the flesh. That is an aspect of a demiurge. You see what I'm saying? You got to understand these things for yourself. Then you will be able to decipher what the fuck you're actually reading. So it don't matter what you're reading. You will know the difference between the truth and the lies. Therefore, you, you, don't, you won't come up with logical justifications that teach you that you need these things to understand the truth. No, you just need the lie to understand anything because you don't know nothing for yourself. And the moment someone tear that shit down who know it for themselves, the spirit will come into you and put you in the sunken place and teach you some type of logical inference to try to, to try to justify it. So it make you worship the idol, the Bible. So instead of um 
So instead of instead you worship somebody who's doing things who believed in themselves. But the moment somebody in front of you today in real time be themselves, for some reason you want to kick your limitations. You want to kick your humanistic third dimensional natures. You want to kick your uh, your incapabilities onto them, and then and then tell them what they can't do, and then pull a scripture out again that trying to teach you some type of logical way to how explain that. So you end up going into spiritual warfare and getting controlled by a ruler and authority spirit that you are unaware of. So you end up thinking, you end up going into spiritual warfare, fighting, fighting a war that you truly don't know what you're fighting. So you're into an army or a Marines or a Navy in the astral realm that you do not know who, a, a fight that you do not know what you're fighting for. And then it manifests into the physical realm of reality. You even live your life that way. So you live your life incapable. You live your life like you ain't nothing. You live your life like you have to look towards things outside of yourself to understand that thing. So it play out physically. You always going to be a, an employee. You ain't never going to be the corporate leader. It play out like that physically because spiritually you like that in the astral realm. So you already like that in the realm that create this realm. So just think about all the limitations that you be putting on yourself when you quote unquote think you're judging others. People who judge others are people uh, are people who see things in this person uh, that they don't have themselves. That's what it boils down to. Now the spirit may teach you other logics to try to tell you it ain't that. But as Archangel Uriel, I'm trying to tell you this is what it is. You see something in a person that you don't that is something that you do not have. You see something in that person that is something that, that's not in you. So for the most part, men and women fear what they, what they truly do not understand. So then they jump back into their reptilian, logical left brain mind again to try to come up with logical um, confusions within themselves to try to justify why they're in the position that they're in and why you're in the position that you are in. So then the spirit that they're ruled by, the demonic spirit that they rule by again, make them come up with logic that spirits outside of that spirit is more powerful than that spirit. So this spirit that they think is God, they end up giving more power to the motherfucking spirit that they call in the demon. So everybody who end up gaining power or who end up being smart, these people is possessed by demons. So why the person you worship, why the person you worship, why demons always more powerful than that motherfucker? I don't understand that shit. The demon you should be tapping into is the motherfucker that they scared of, the motherfucker that created them. So if you got some created demons in your life, you should be attacking that shit. So that's you tapping into the same energy that the being that you should be relating to do. But the moment you worship an idol, worship somebody or fleshly thing that came into a daughter's of men that did that same shit before you. And now you feel incapable and you always feel like you need to be judged or you can never reach that capability yourself. Then that's that's what worshiping the idol is. And that's what your Bible is actually trying to tell you. But you didn't got lost for some reason because you don't know yourself and you let somebody else teach yourself. So you end up getting into spiritual warfare un and unaware of the person you going to war for. And here's what I mean by that, because a, a lot of y'all need to go to a book or a Bible to know what spiritual warfare is, where if you just jump into the energy signature of it, you will understand what it is. This is what it is. Now, if I was to look at you, right? And you give me a certain energy. That that's an energy signature you just gave me. Now that energy signature could be played out. It don't it don't even have to necessarily be played out through you. It could be played out through multiple people. And they may play that same energy signature signature out in their own way. Now, how is that? Now, once you become a spiritual being or become a a a, a, a spirit that go into a lighter body, that means you have did your expansion and contraction, aka went through enough experiences as a spirit and gained enough information to the point that the being you are now, you can play out through multiple people in the lesser dimensions. So in the third dimension, your concept and ideas can be played out through multiple people, through multiple I through multiple through hundreds and thousands of people that walk amongst this earth. Your idea whether you live in that dimension or not, if, if whatever you did was so strong and you had so much followers, whether it was a lie or not, and we all lying to ourselves. So that's what the Bible trying to tell you also. But if you understand that, then this person's I, this spiritual being, I did spiritual being, not a human being, spiritual being saying we all beings. 
their idea and concept could be carried out and through multiple people and everybody be carrying out their duties and I, I, I uh, obligations. And then don't be these this person's ideas. It'd be somebody else's ideas that this person think they got to cling to. That's how you can see it. That's what it is. Now, and you have to remind remind you, the ideas that they're getting it from is a person who came up with the original idea. Duh. Now, spiritual warfare is when you... Now, if you don't understand planetary alignments or flight astrology and you don't listen to our Archangel Ar Ar Uriel, you're not even going to understand this in general anyway. Because if you don't understand how other people could be in their own energy still carrying out the same energy signature just in their own way, then you automatically lost. Because you got to go to your, bu your book or something like that in order to even know what these things are. Because you don't want to experience it yourself. You want to experience it through a way somebody else experienced it first for it. I don't care if you go back to ancient Sumerians. I don't care how far you go back, them putting snakes on the head. Who said that they was calling it the pineal gland? That's what I'm talking about. And then if you want to go back to them putting it on the, the snake on their head, who said that they was referring it to that in general? So you need to go into your own self and understand, go into yourself and figure out like the thoughts you receive and then you go into your solar system and push out. See what aspect hit you that hit that source. You know it hit. If I hit my arm, I know it hit my arm. If I know a thought hit my mind, I know it hit my mind. If I know a feeling and emotion hit my heart, I know it hit my mark, my heart. So you should be able to decipher what energies is hitting every specific piece in your body. So be able to be able to decipher what the fuck is hitting this motherfucker, quote unquote, y'all call a fucking pineal gland. As Archangel Uriel, when I do that, ain't much shit that y'all be trying to teach relate to that shit to me. I'm going to tell you that right now. It be a lot of shit relating to other shit. It's a small percentage I relate to that be in the center of my mind. And it ain't the shit that y'all be trying to teach it is. It don't be the psychedelic where the melatonin be coming from or none of that shit. It don't be that shit. A lot of the shit that y'all be calling where the melatonin, which y'all quote unquote think the melatonin come from, that shit don't be getting created to the bottom of your spine. You know what I'm saying? And shit has to die and transform to even get to that level for you to fill it in that area. So that's where that creation come from. That creation don't come from that. That something else created there. You can get into lost arguments of trying to say it. that's what manifests all you want. No, it's separate. Sep uh, two separate energies came together to create that, and then that died and transformed and became something else. Then something else had to do that to all the way till you get down to that same process to get down to when you start to feel that uh, melatonin, which y'all think is uh, accumulating. And when, I be f and when I tap into the energies... To, and I don't even call it melatonin. That's some fuck ass scientist shit. But for the most part, when I when I tap into what y'all quote unquote trying to explain, that shit don't correlate there to me. When I when I feel it, it correlate down here somewhere. So just me being me, I have no choice but to make a video and say that. But y'all get lost into third dimension and bring me back down and say no. You got to go back to this how they was talking about it back then in some way. No, whatever they was talking about, about back then, they was talking about it the same way now. Just in a different way. So, you need to not get lost in the way that they was talking about things back then. You need to start understanding that there's a concept of why we're talking about things in the way we're talking about it in the first place. Then once you understand that part, you will be able to be like, oh, this is why... Every Bible or every civilization is talking about the same kind of revelation because it's the same motherfuckers going through the same type of experiences that your motherfucker ass is going through in 2018. So I think we should understand that part first. And that's when we can get the transits and understand and alignments. And then we will start to get into the mind state of these people they were back then because they wasn't in a different type of mind state the way y'all trying to put it in. Damn. So when we talk about motherfucking spiritual warfare, this is when you just destroy somebody's whole concept and idea from the root of it. Therefore, any hundred thousands of beings who is carrying out that duty of obligation will be looked at as out, outdated. They shit won't work anymore. So you got a bunch of spiritual beings who've been coming destroying, destroying other spiritual being shit. And this is where you get the concept of denominations, different religions. And think about what religion is the most popular one. 
That's the fucking spiritual being who came and slaughtered all the other motherfucking spirits in the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension. Death goes on every second in the in the motherfucking fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension. Every thought that you get is motherfucking detriment to your motherfucking life. You better know that. Y'all in a low vibrational state in third dimension, so shit take time to come to come back to your ass. In the fourth dimension, you better be careful with the fuck that's on your mind. You better be careful with the fuck you emotional emotionally cling to. Because the shit down here in the third dimension, it's all an illusion. So you may not be aware of what you're clinging on to. You may think you know what you're clinging on to. You may think you logically left brain reptilian part of your body think you logically understand what's going on in this realm of reality. But the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension is not in this realm of reality. So whatever you're perceiving down here is not going to be perceived the same. So whatever you think you need to worship in the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension, that's the shit that's going to treat you like a prey. So when you motherfucking pray and down here, it takes longer to get to you. So oh, you pray for a better day. So down here, you it, it takes longer... That longer day, that, that better day take longer to get to you. So what you actually pray for is you having to wanting to pray again for a, a, a better day. So this being keep putting you in experiences of bad days so you can keep praying for that better day. Because the, the spiritual being don't see the reality like you look at it. It's looking at it like, okay, this person like being in that circumstance. That person like being in the state of being of wanting a better day. So I'm going to bring this person a, around more people who don't be in better days, who need better days. I'm going to make this person go around um, churches and stuff like that, around a bunch of other people who wish and pray for better days. Because this is what this person asking for. And down here in the third dimension, you're looking at the word and the illusion, thinking that you're praying for the better day. But what you're actually doing is you're, you're actually praying to be in the experience of needing a better day. Do you get it? The Bible was telling you that though, but you don't understand it that way because you think I'm lost. And you and you third dimensional lost down here. You're not up here where I'm at. You see what I'm saying? And you think me saying that is egotistical because you don't know how to get there yourself and say we here. See, that's what my soul group is about. So it's really like you think you praying for that but the being up there is like and that's how i would look at it it's looking at it like okay you praying for situations of wanting a better day i don't care if you having a fucked up day you're supposed to you're not even supposed to pray because you create a predator a prey don't exist without a predator y'all always create y'all opposites in y'all life you you not the prey you should be the predator if anything because you should prey on the weakling so if you want a shape and form in your life, a.k.a. this is how chairs got created. Because you was a motherfucker beating a being that got tired of standing up. Because you was following a spirit that taught you how to stand up right and lose yourself within the being that you are in. So you, you didn't forgot the fact of how you was born. You got born flat here. Not flat in flat earth, but you got born like this, motherfucker. Like bugs and animals. But for the most part, you didn't forgot that because you couldn't get up and crawl yet. And you done got lost by a spirit that taught you how to walk upright. So you done forgot how to learn things for your goddamn self. You see what I'm saying? And this being is teaching you other kind of shit. Like, it's teaching you third dimensional shit. So you can't understand it from a fourth, fifth, or sixth dimensional aspect. Like a charger. But yeah, it's like... <clears throat> You put yourself in a circumstance where you're taught by a being that taught you how to stand up right. So you lose yourself. So you you are not supposed to motherfucking pray. You're supposed to make affirmations. The universe is supposed to work for you. You're not supposed to pray. Offer yourself. You're not supposed to sacrifice yourself. Why are you sacrificing yourself to something you don't really know about? You see what I'm saying? You got to understand that. You, you're trying to sacrifice yourself to something you think you know about. So you're thinking. You're using your left brain logical mind. But this shit that you're... Uh, reptilian reptilian mind is on all your your true self always show you it's a lie based upon you resonate with certain shit so don't come up with no logic or try to justify uh the lie throw the whole shit away you see what i'm saying you come across shit that you cling on to every day that your true self be like yeah i know this don't make sense yeah i know this ain't right but then you justify it you you end up Utilizing your spiritual common sense to justify it. You would say shit like, nah, the people back then didn't fully understand it. No, you not fully understanding it. You end up trying to make these things part part of how you see things. So this spirit coming to your language 
it looked like you. It's your race now. It, it, it's like it's black, it's Asian, it's Caucasian, it's Hispanic. So now, now this deity is your race. It's it, it talking your language, and it's like once you understand yourself, you you wouldn't have the language to even know how this motherfucker is coming to talk to you. So now you need to go see how it was talking to somebody else in their motherfucking language. So now you find yourself having to learn another another language just to find out that these motherfuckers had had a language the same way you got a language now that you know. And that's just your way of figuring out these energies the same way they was trying to figure out, uh, out the, a way to figure out these energies. But you worship someone who did that before you. And you don't want to do that yourself. And you want to just, you just want to give that spirit credit. For some reason. That's the demi-urge. That is the demi-urge. Like religious people, theologians, right? They sit there and worship Jesus, right? And then when I say I'm Archangel Uriel. Or somebody else in this world come and say they Jesus. They say that this person needs to be prosecuted. So you worship a person like that. But you don't worship another person doing that. What kind of what kind of illusion your mind is in? Do you get it? You you worship somebody or something that do that, but you you don't like somebody else that do the same thing. And then this spirit even tell you and teach you lies to be like, this person is not capable of doing what I'm doing. So instead of you looking at a scripture like that in the way you're supposed to look at it, you will look at it like this. Anybody who's trying to do what this person did in the Bible is bad. That's a demon. Not understanding that the Bible is telling you that. This motherfucker in the Bible it did the same thing that this person is doing. You see what I'm saying? So that's why you don't like them. So what is your what is your point of not liking the person that's doing that, but you liking the person that's telling you don't like motherfuckers that do shit like that? Do you get it? This is psychology right here. One on one. Even if you want to logically tell me, oh, this ain't psychology. See what I'm saying? Where did that come from? You see what I'm saying? It's like, it's weird. Y'all get things backwards. Y'all understand it backwards. You know what I'm saying? When it, when it, when it say, well, I don't, I'm not going to get into that. But, you know, this is just a video. I'm just talking shit. <laughs> I'm going to stop this video and shit, though. But, yeah, that's the motherfucking Demi Urge right there. So, you can spot people just being low vibrational all over the place. Everybody in their goddamn Demi Urge. Ain't no mother ain't none of y'all spirits angelic. None of y'all spirits is angelic. Until y'all start separating and start deciphering from the third dimension and the fourth dimension. A lot of y'all get rude. By feelings and emotions and thoughts and ideas that came from other people. So you don't see the world in no other way. So you don't even understand. So you're ran by that kind of spirit. So that kind of spirit is a, is a type of spirit that, that don't understand things in no other kind of way. So since you are offspring of that spirit, you play out that in physical life. You, you end up being a type of person that don't see, you don't see how anyone can learn anything for themselves so you automatically come up with brain constructs in your head to think that you necessarily need something outside of you whether it's a form of a book text to know anything but you're not realizing you're learning someone else's idea about something you can have your own idea about something also now if they both correlate and relate to each other then y'all both are in balance if they don't correlate with each other, then someone is not making sense. Point blank, point blank, period. But you have to understand that world. You telling me to go to a scripture or a book is not understanding of something makes sense. That's understanding someone else's version of what makes sense. So if we want to debate that, 
that's not that at once you get to that point it's no point of debating because at that point you, you're trying to debate someone else's interpretation that's stupid you're supposed to have your own interpretation so you want to debate what somebody else was thinking about what you want to think about how much sense do that make when you could go get your own aspect about whatever they was talking about and then see if they whatever they was talking about is true to you or not. And then you'll realize that whatever they was talking about must have been true to them at that time. And whatever you're talking about is true to you at this time. So y'all may share similar traits, similar concepts. But the moment you end up having something that's different, that's letting you know you have a different dream. You have a different imagination. I think that's beautiful to me. I don't think that should be something that should be disclosed. You know what I'm saying? I don't think that's something that should be disregarded. So developing your fourth, fifth, and sixth dimensional bodies is getting into your own mentality, not being rude and ran by a mentality that you have caught, a thought or a feeling that you have caught externally, and then you want to come up with logical justifications on, on why you think that's the truth. Because in the fourth dimension, you would get killed the moment you get there. And whatever you worship, you're really going to be the prey there. And it's really going to be on your mind. So you think that you need to live uh, by the commandments and not a sin. But you can kind of live day to day as long as you pray. But in the fourth, fifth, and sixth dimension, time is much faster. The body that you're in transform a lot faster. You you get death and be born it goes a lot faster. Imaginations tr transform a lot faster. So this thought and imagination ain't going to be waiting for you. Uh, this, this thought and imagination that you're going to, that, you, that quote unquote look like you and speaking your language, it's not going to be waiting for you to, to, to come to church tomorrow. It's not going to be waiting for you to not sin tomorrow. It's not going to be waiting for you to um, not look at uh, someone you're not married to tomorrow. It's not going to be waiting for you to come pray and get baptized after you'd, uh, after you'd already had sex before you was married. It's not going to go for all that shit. It's going to be like today. Is you doing that shit today? And the moment that you ain't doing that shit today, all those feelings and emotions and thoughts on your head down here that take longer to come back to your ass, down here that you that you think you can get over down here, up there it ain't going to be like that. Those All those feelings and thought processes that you are in down here going to attack your ass on an instant up there. And that, that predator that you created for yourself is going to be right there, always stabbing you with that motherfucking sword. Soon as you get a thought on your head to motherfucking eat some food, it's going to stab you. To eat some pork, it's going to stab you. To want to experience your dream and imagination, it's going to stab you. To moment to want to have your own kingdom, it's going to stab you. To moment to want to have your own house, it's going to stab you. The moment you start having sex, it's going to stab you. The, mo the moment you put on clothing, it's going to stab you. And y'all think clothing is this clothing. Clothing is the light. So that's being lost in a form of con consciousness, indoctrination, logic, language, uh, ritual, spells, uh, 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 idols, Bibles, demons, Jesus, being lost in all this kind of shit. All that kind of shit. All that shit is lostness. Until you understand how to utilize this shit for yourself. Just like people who have baby spiritual minds who watch my channel, and then when they see me do this, they say I'm throwing up Ill Illuminati signs. Here you go, tapping into your spirit that always given uh, power to, to other spirits. That and So now you play, that, you play that out in actual existence. So since your God don't got no power because this demon always running, this devil always running around with more power to, with more power of influence than your God, so now you you ran by that type of spirit. So that spirit have taught you to create ideas in your mind to think that signs and sigils is only ran by demons, something outside of you, Illuminati. Not knowing you are a sign. When you look, when you do this, what are, what do you look like? A star. When you lay flat on the ground, you didn't forgot about that because you didn't follow a spirit that didn't taught you how to stand up right and, and walk and lost yourself within the being that you are in. But what you're not understanding is you are the sign. So when I do this, this sign, I call it and I use this energy signature for wings. And when I do this, I use it for the uh, zero circumference. And this is the five, a five point star. So that's what I use it for. So whatever energy you want to give me that I can utilize and take shape and form for myself, that's on you because you're ran by a spirit that
that love to give things outside of you way more power than it has. So I know you love to give me way more power than you have. I know you love to say that I got a lot of followers or subscribers because I use signs and sigils and I use Illuminati shit. I know you love to give me all this power. I know that I know I'm ran by demons and shit. I know I know I'm ran by Lucifer and shit. I, I know I'm getting all this consciousness and knowledge to control something. I know I'm getting all this from the demon. I know I'm getting all this from something that's outside of your God. Your God just ain't got no goddamn power, right? What kind of spirit is y'all ran by? Like, that's a weak ass spirit. Whatever God I want to look at, these motherfuckers be scared of that thing. They, they that thing creations. They run when that thing come. So, that God taught me how to fight my own demons. If I'm a mini version of that God, that's the God I want to follow. Because that God teach me since that God been fighting its own demons. And its own demons is the shit that y'all worship. So y'all worship In Inky and Sumerian texts and Enlil and black people. Which y'all quote unquote think is African Americans and shit like that. But y'all worship uh, or what y'all want to think is white people. Y'all worship God's lower natures. Y'all worship Jesus in the flesh. Y'all worship God lower shit. Muhammad. Y'all worship the idols of God. Y'all worship God demons that he's trying to kill. And these are representations as examples of showing you how to kill these things. So if you look at the Bible how I look at it. It's talking. It's teaching you how to talk to yourself. It's teaching you how to talk to the true God. Your true God. Your true God. So you will you will learn. If you under, understand it from that aspect. You will learn how to kill your own demons. Because if you are a mini version. Within that version. If you you are a being that stay within this bigger being then he's it's or she or I don't like to say he or she because y'all get lost it is leading it is what it is it is leading by example so if you're in that spirit you know how to kill your own demons because you have lesser demons compared to those demons so those bigger demons are bigger examples but those are really just examples of a being talking to him talking to itself of and, and killing its own demons when it created its own angels to go kill its own demons so if you go by that same path you the better you know how to talk to yourself the better you will learn how to kill your own demons because you are a smaller version within that version of a being so that's the God I want to follow I don't want to follow a God that's telling me no you have to look towards my lower beings and whatever I told them you follow them and they'll teach you how to get to me so now you got that you are ruled by that same kind of spirit that ain't the overall God that's another spirit you know how because you rule by that same spirit so that spirit have taught you to do the same type of things so now you jump into spiritual warfare where you think you need to do that same kind of characteristics so now you think you need to tell people that they don't know what they talk about unless they go back to the way you look at things, to your concept, to the spirit that rule you. You get what I'm saying? You got to get out of that mind state. Flight bus, bitch. Goddamn air. Eee.